question number 58 it says if y equal to 2x to the third power minus 6x to the second power plus 3x plus 10 find the second derivative of y with respect to x at x equal to negative 1. So we are not going to substitute the value of x equal to negative 1 in here. We have to differentiate it from the first time and we differentiate it for the second time then we substitute the value of x and that second derivative equals negative 1 to obtain our value. So if y equal to this, remember the general formula if y equals x power n dy over dx, which is change in y with respect to x, is equal to this n will drop down. It will multiply the x, and whatever value is that n, you have to subtract 1. So this is the general formula. We are going to apply the same thing here. dy over dx equals our uh, n here is 3. It will drop down. It will multiply, but already we have 2 there. So it will be 3 times 2, 6. x, then 3 minus 1, because n minus 1, we have 2. Minus, already we have 6 here. If this 2 multiply down, it becomes 12. x, 2 minus 1 is 1, and we don't have to write 1 here. Plus, this number naturally has a power of 1. It will drop down and multiply by 3. And that x raised to the power of 1 minus 1 is 0. And uh, uh, any number power 0, if that number is not 0, you obtain 1. And 1 times 3 is still 3. This is why if you have any constant multiplied by a variable that has no power, you are just going to obtain that constant. And the derivative of constant without any variable attached is 0. So we don't have to uh, differentiate constant. Now we are going to take the second derivative of this. This is the first derivative. The second derivative is going to be d squared y over dx squared. 2 times 6 is 12. x, 2 minus 1 is 1, so we don't have to write 1 here. Any variable without power will change to 1. So we have only 12 here because 12 times 1 is 12. And derivative of constant is 0, so we don't have to write it. But it says at x equal to negative 1. So we are going to substitute the value of x here. So it will be 12 multiplied by negative 1 minus 12 also. Twelve times negative one is negative twelve. Then we have negative twelve, negative twelve, and this is equal to negative twelve, negative twelve is negative twenty-four. We have negative twenty-four, and this is our answer at x equal to negative one. So now let us move on to question number fifty-nine. 